Looks good. There it is. The pineapple. Wait, where am I? Oh, I have a voiceover today. Wow, I didn't see that coming. All right, I guess you're just going to have to deal with not seeing me tonight. This is the pineapple video, and for the sake of getting it done, we are just going to talk. <laughs> I wasn't sure what this was, if it was a tutorial or not. It's not a tutorial. I think I've established that in my mind. It's really more of a follow along while I just make something because this was not a planned project. I did not try it beforehand. I didn't make sure it worked. This is just how I work most of the time where I have something stuck in my head and I want to make it. That's what's happening here. I saw a pineapple that I liked and I wanted to sculpt a version of it. And here we are. This is one of the simplest ways to cane <laughs> whatever I'm doing right there. I am just kind of wrapping a shape in more colors and it's going to produce that little it's not a star it's like a piece of a star that's what I think of it as a piece of a star from that pineapple edge are you here to listen to me talk about every step of how I make this pineapple this is why it's not a tutorial I'm not really sure how to explain what I'm doing because it's just pretty obvious I think and I don't think of this as a tutorial because I don't think I'm trying to teach you how to make the pineapple. I think of this more as like you're watching me think about through a project. It's not really a finished project. I can't say I'm going to sell this pineapple. I can't say I'm going to even make it again, but I wanted to just make this project. Are you interested in watching me work like this. I think of this a little bit like it's my sketchbook because I don't sketch that much and when I do it doesn't look as good as I want it to look so I can't see myself ever sharing what my sketchbook actually looks like. But when I want to get ideas out of my head they come out more easily if I make them in clay. So this is what this session here feels like to me it's just a sketch and you're watching me sketch it's like a sketch with me video I love watching those videos from other youtubers and they don't explain everything they're doing it's hard to just talk about each step of how you're sketching how you're painting it's hard for me to explain every step of this, how I'm sculpting, because I really don't feel like this is necessarily a technique-driven project. It's, it's just a, a picture that I'm trying to get out of my head. Like right there, I just thought I needed a darker pink, so I mixed in more pink. That's what you do, right? I'm... I'm not sure I'll be able to talk through the next 20 minutes of, of what's left of this video, so I may leave you to some music, but I did want to come in here and just say that I am trying to work YouTube into the rest of my life and I have to figure out what style videos work best and what's easier to make and I do have some requests for tutorials that are are up on the list to get done but they're they take longer to plot and plan and work through and edit and I would like to put out videos more frequently than what takes longer so I'm trying to find a format that works and I like this one because most of the time I'm working I'm just sitting down and making what I feel like making and I think it's interesting to watch other people work and other people sculpt and like right there there was like an extra part where I needed thicker pink clay I added a little extra it's not like it's hard to do but I don't really have to explain that stuff do I 
I don't know. I find it interesting to watch other people work and I'm thinking maybe it's just interesting to you too to watch other people work and in this instance I am the other person. So if this is cool for you, I do want to keep making these videos and they're they're more of a process video, they're more of a I really feel like this is just a sketch with me, but it's more like a sculpt with me, but it's it's just a visit into my studio while I'm getting things out of my head. It is not finished, polished, it's just what I make when I'm having fun. And I, I really feel like there's an element of making things that needs to stay fun. I lose it sometimes. I think a lot of people do. I think we should fight to keep the fun in what we make. And and it takes sometimes a conscious effort. This to me is fun. And I, I like making things that just make me happy. And a glittery hot pink pineapple was a happy thing to think about. So that's why I went here. <laughs> Now I have to decide which glitter, the rose gold or the yellow gold glitter. I don't know. Well, I went with yellow gold glitter. Right now I'm getting more of it. I needed a bigger block. These are the kinds of things that I don't know how to teach you. You kind of just get a feel for, wait, I need more gold glitter. So if you, if you think I should be talking you through every step of this tutorial, feel free to let me know in the comments. But I think just watching me work is pretty is pretty sufficient so this is the part where I'm going to leave you to watch me sculpt and listen to some music and I will come back at the end and give you a summary of what I think of the pineapple that's what I'm gonna do I will talk to you soon
Okay, I'm back. Right now I'm putting the leaves together. The video does cut out very soon. I was trying to figure out how to attach that top tuft of leaves to the bottom pineapple and that's around where it cuts out. But you've seen me sculpt every piece of it. That's what it's going to look like. I'm going to grab a wire and attach it with some bacon bond and that part you don't necessarily see because first I grabbed what I thought was bacon bond but apparently was white liquid sculpey can't have any of that oozing out we don't want white in our leaves so here we do fix it here we go paintbrush take that extra clay out and now we go with the bacon bond and then I'm gonna grab the wire and you're not gonna see that part but look 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 here it comes there's the finished pineapple and I am happy with this I could nitpick the things that I don't like about it and I think it's healthy to be able to critique yourself like the pattern is all askew but that's okay if I were going to make this professionally to sell I might put more effort into a more even pattern but maybe it doesn't even matter I think the glitter could have laid flatter and been more glittery but overall I like my pineapple I made a flat version of it flat backed this was interesting to me too I'm probably gonna try and make more even bigger but right now I just thank you for watching and sticking along with me if you like the way this video goes maybe I'll talk more maybe I'll talk less I don't know tell me if you like talking in the comments subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you get notifications when I put more out and thank you so much for joining me while I sculpted my pineapple you have a great day